So takeaways on, on winning, terms are important. Money is important, mm -hmm. obviously. You can't be the low guy. Yeah. Um, are you finding people using personal letters? This is one that, that sort of yeah. goes back a number of years. I, I, I used it when I first got in the business. Um, depending on, on the circumstances, you know, I've coached people to use them or not to use them. What are you seeing in today's market? Yeah, I mean, I, I am seeing a lot of personal letters. Um, you know, to be honest, the listing agent doesn't have to present those. Sure. Right? And so you don't know. If it that's allows your discretion as to whether or not this is something that, that'll, that'll help yeah, the so conversation. You, so it may not help. I can tell you a long sort of sad story is probably not going to be. It could, it could engage. Like if the agent turns around and says, hey, I got this letter and gives it to the seller, yeah. you know, uh, typically on, on my deals, like I show the letters after the fact. Yeah. Right. Like I actually don't want there to be a, a, a situation where someone is influenced to make a decision based on somebody's story. Sure. Right. And you know, right or wrong, my job is to pr to to protect the interests of the seller, and we want the offers to win on the merits of the offer. So the, the objective merits. Yeah, the merit of the offer, not not anything sort of that would take away from the the merit of the offer. Sure. And the merit of the offer also includes how buttoned up that offer is. Yeah. You know, the presentation of the the agent in many ways, who you're gonna be dealing with on the that's, other side that's of the transaction. That's absolutely huge. Yeah. yeah, absolutely huge. And I just wanna say, like, I had in the in the, in the the 11 offer deal, <laughs> I had four offers come in, I believe, that didn't have any lender letter, <laughs> right? And so like- <laughs> Just, it's a non-starter. Talk about a way to get disqualified <laughs> yeah. right away. Right like, out of if, the And that's, that's, by the way, that's your agent and that's your lender working together yeah. and if they don't have that relationship and that's not there, your offer shows up like you're at the bottom of the pile right away. Immediately. Um, earnest money, by the way, is another thing to, to make you stand out. You know, if some guy's putting a thousand bucks down um, and, and you have 13 offers and another guy puts in 50 grand, well, that catches your attention right away and sure. they, we know because that's the money they're putting at risk yeah. to lose if the deal doesn't go through. Sure. They're Clearly earnest about this. Yeah, they want to make this happen, and they're they're, they're we call it big boy money, right? Yeah. Like people are stepping up and writing a big boy check. Yeah, and that's that's something that catches our our, our eye for sure. Beautiful. Uh, so yeah, fantastic. So we've gone a little long, but I want to know your pick of the week. We've talked Montgomery County, we've looked at Loudon, we've looked at Fairfax recently. Talk to me about your your favorite place. I mean, best bang for your buck that you've been researching you know, in, in, in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think, I think we got to go back to kind of where we first started with, with this video series, which is, was, which is to look at Frederick again. Awesome. Um, I, you every, move to Frederick here? <laughs> I might move to Frederick. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> no, but the whole idea really is that you get a lot more bang for your buck there. You're going to get square footage. You're going to get infrastructure, all the stuff that we talked about in our original video. Uh, George, Frederick is the Georgetown of the North. So yeah. I know that's still in the history of the, the video. Yeah, so yeah. check that out as well um, <laughs> to find out more in depth about Frederick. But I, I really do think that that is a place where you're going to be able to find real value for your cash yeah. um, to get a little bit of land, like I had mentioned, and uh, to just get more square footage. And your price per square foot is actually a, a lot cheaper than it is uh, down lower in, in the county and certainly in Virginia as well. And yeah, we're seeing people actually go from there commuting to Loudoun County as well for, for work or down even, 15, you know, down yeah, 15 and, Rocks, and, and yeah. even coming in to rest in and that sort of area. So yeah. well communicated as yeah. well going that way, Baltimore as well. So great sort of central location and the more that that's built up around this area, Frederick becomes that even that much more interesting. That's right. And what I would say too, is if, if you're, if, if folks are looking at, at new construction, there is so much new construction going on out there. Call us. We actually, we have, our finger on the pulse of all new construction up there, um, let us know and we, we'd be happy to, to give you a tour of what our, our picks are uh, up there. Awesome. So, John, thanks again. All right, Great man. stuff. Thank you. Good to see you. Have fun playing baseball. <laughs> awesome. See ya.